if your hand is dark like this or you have dark knuckle on your hand today's video i'll be showing you an home remedy that you can actually use to clean it out to get a very youthful glowing looking hand with the natural things that you can get in your kitchen to help you to get rid of all these dark hands dark knuckle dark, dark foot and this ingredient that we need for this process they are the things you actually have in your house to help you to get rid of dark knuckle dark hand and give you a flawless younger and looking hand and this ingredient is also going to help your hand to get way more softer and way more brighter so guys without talking too much let's just dive right into the video first ingredient we need for this process is carrot and tomato i believe every one of us have carrot and tomatoes at home so today i'll be showing you how to combine these two ingredients together to get rid of dark knuckle and also to also help you to get rid of your dark hand your dark foot leave your hand and leg glowing and also at the same time soft and flawless before to start you peel off your carrot the upper layer of your carrot or you can also wash it very well to get rid of dirty from the carrot before making use of your carrot. carrot contain vitamin c and beta carotene and also antioxidant which helps to protect your skin from damage the nutrients in carrot give you a clear healthy looking skin carrots are often used in natural beauty remedy because it protects the skin from dryness it also clean up your skin clear scars and improve your skin tone also. Carrot has so many great benefits to improve your skin complexion because it contains also vitamin A that fights pigmentation, weakling, acne, and mm. give you an even skin tone. After peeling off the upper layer of your carrot, this is how clean it's going to be. Now I'm going to be getting a grater to grate my carrot. All you just need is to grate your carrot and take out the carrot juice from the carrot guys please if you have watched me from the beginning till now you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider hitting the red button below that says subscribe and also please do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video so you don't miss out on any of my upload if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much if you're new here you are highly welcome to game channel guys you can make your measurement okay you can decide to use one carrot you can decide to use two carrots but for this process i'm using one carrot all right now our next ingredient is going to be fresh tomatoes tomatoes have a natural bleaching property that helps you to get rid of dark spots dark mark from your hand and also your food because tomatoes are highly beneficial to remove their skin cells and also add a natural glow to your skin cut your tomato into two and then you use your grater as well to grate your tomatoes to extract the juice from your tomatoes the antioxidants found in tomatoes helps to repair damaged skin and also helps to restore natural healthy glow to your skin the juice is going to clean and clear your hand and helps to restore natural glow to your skin tomato juice also has so many great benefits for the skin it's going to leave your hand looking younger your skin and your hand is the same thing okay it's going to leave your hand looking younger looking youthful. help you to get rid of dark knuckle on your hand help you to get rid of your damaged hand like if you have used a lot of bleaching cream that damage your hand you need tomatoes and carrot juice and other ingredients to help to get rid of it after grating the ingredients together you get a strainer something that you can actually use in extracting the carrot juice and the tomato juice you can also use blender if you do not want to pass through process by grating the carrot and also grating the the tomatoes okay you can as well use blender to blend it very well and then you extract the juice from the carrot and the tomatoes guys please if you have any question relating to the video you can as well leave them in the comment section i will get back to you this home remedy to get rid of your damaged hand to help you to get rid of dark knuckle to give you a youthful glowing hand is very very effective to try because all the ingredients used for this process that are the things that you have at home that are very beneficial to leave your hand glowing and softer and also helps to get rid of dark knuckle now i'm going to be transferring the juice into a clean bowl and our next ingredient is going to be baking soda Baking soda contains bleaching property which helps to fade away dark knuckle, dark spots, scars, dark mark, skin and helps to exfoliate their skin cells and helps to also get rid of impurities. Helps to get rid of hyperpigmentation and also helps to get rid of dark patches on your body. Baking soda has so many uses. Okay, now I'm going to be taking half tablespoon of my baking soda then I will add it into the carrot and the tomato juice. And I'll mix this together properly. When making this process, make sure that your baking soda absorbs alongside with the carrot and the tomato juice, which we grated or which we blended. Okay, all you just need is the juice 
and the baking soda combined together and then this is how it's going to be looking after mixing for a while this mixture can be used on your foot or uh, your foot knuckle if your foot knuckle is darker than your um the rest of your leg you can also use it to play it if the back of your leg is also very very dark maybe due to shoes and all that you can also use this mixture two or three times in a week to clear that part okay do not use this mixture every day on your hand or on your leg okay because of the baking soda it's too harsh for the skin okay so for that reason do not use this mixture every day on your hand or on your um, foot area to get rid of that knuckle okay now after mixing the ingredient together what I'm going to be using to apply this mixture on my hand is going to be my cutting rule okay this is just a very and easy process to make sure to scrub that dark part of your hand your dark knuckle your bond hand okay then before to apply this mixture on your hand make sure that you mix these ingredients together very well do not allow the baking soda to absorb under it okay mix it then you dip in your cotivo into the mixture just like this take a little of it and then your hand is ready to be clean okay just you just need to dip it into your mixture you apply it like this on your hand use it to scrub that part that you know is darker than the rest of your hand if it's also your foot you can also do the same thing on your foot area maybe your foot knuckle also or the back of your foot or maybe you use a lot of bleaching cream on your hand and your hand is damaged like the first picture i show you from the beginning of this video you can also use this mixture just dip the cotivo into this mixture use it to scrub that particular place that you know that is darker than the rest of your hand make sure to scrub it very well and also while using this uh, mixture on your hand if you're using any ash bleaching cream on your skin all you just need to do rub the bleaching cream on your body wash off your hand properly then you apply this on your hand use it to scrub that dark knuckle use it to scrub the upper layer of your hand just this place i'm scrubbing make sure to scrub it very well to help you to get rid of those dark dark spots you have there and also do the same thing on your foot area also if the you're having dark foot also you can also use this mixture to clear that dark food and then apply a natural moisturizer to it this home remedy is going to leave your hands soft leave your hand glowing help you to get rid of dark knuckle help you to get rid of your damaged hand help you to get rid of black your hand black leg black foot also all you just need to do is just to apply this mixture into your hand like this dip it and then you scrub everything properly you can scrub it like this for 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes just use this to scrub it you can also use it to clean your finger area if your finger is also very dark to see a very good result you should use this mixture up to two to three weeks to see a very good result because it's not going to fastly get rid of it because it's just an home remedy and also if you want to clean anything like dark hand you should always use something natural to get rid of them if you're also using you can see how my hand turns out to be it's very very soft if you're using any bleaching cream and you notice your hand is getting more damaged please stop now after scrubbing the first hand i'm going to do the same thing on the second hand also just mix the ingredients together very well get in your cotivo dip it into the mixture then you take from the juice and also there from the baking soda which we use dip it in like this this is how it's going to be looking you can make the mixture and then you store it in your fridge for like one week or two weeks okay then you can be using it but before to use it on your hand all you just need to do is bring it out then you mix all the ingredients together very well dip in your cotivo and then you use it to scrub your hand those parts that you know that is darker than your um, the rest of your body if you're having a damaged hand maybe due to cream you use or due to um, bleaching stuff or maybe something or one or two just all you just need is this re um, recipe okay this home remedy that is going to help you to clear your dark knuckle help you to clear your dark hand your dark foot your foot knuckle also the back of your leg all the parts you know that you're experiencing dark dark stuff and that are more darker than your the rest of your body just use this home remedy to clean them out they are very very beneficial in helping you to get rid of dark knuckle and dark hand also okay and please when you're using any ash product on your skin and you notice that you're getting dark knuckle a lot of the dark knuckle you should stop okay before adding more damage to your hand all right so this trip is very very good to help you to get rid of those dark dark hand you have and also help you to get rid of your dark knuckle also just massage this in your hand 15 to 20 minutes then all you do you leave it a little bit use your hand also to massage after scrubbing it with the cotivo and the juice you also massage your hand very well before to wash it with just 
cold water okay just rinse it off with cold water before to apply any moisturizer hand cream and moisturizer on your hand to also leave your hand soft and glowing this home remedy is going to leave your hand glowing it's going to give you a very clean and brighter hand it's also going to help you to clear dark knuckle help you to clear dark hand give you a very soft clean brighter looking hand if you're the type who is always ashamed in public to bring out your hand try this home remedy it's going to help you a lot a lot in helping you to give you a very brighter and beautiful looking because because what mostly causes this dark knuckle, maybe you use a lot of hot water to wash plates, you should reduce the hot water you use in washing your plates. And also if you're using a lot of products on your skin, um, bleaching products can also give you a lot of dark knuckle. So that's why I always said in most of my video, when you're using any bleaching product on your skin, always try to check your skin, okay? If you're getting a lot of the dark knuckle, you should stop or you can actually use the cream and then you wash up your hand and apply a natural moisturizer on your hand so you don't get dark knuckle. So after um, scrubbing, uh, with this is the... how my hand is. You can see how brighter it looks like, okay? This own remedy can be used three times a week, two times times a week do not use it every day so now guys after washing out my hand i'm going to be using my kitchen um paper just to dry up my hand to make sure that you dry out all the water okay but wash this properly after um leaving it for 20 15 to 20 minutes you just wash it out properly and then you can apply your hand moisturizer your hand cream you can apply it properly on your hand and also during the night you should also be using hand cream on your hand also it's very good to also soften your hand and also your palm as well this home remedy is going to leave your hand looking youthful looking brighter looking beautiful so you can actually see how you just home remedy to it. scrub your dark hand your dark knuckle your dark foot the back of your leg then it's going to leave your skin very very soft and way more brighter and also leave your hand looking youthful and also leave your hand looking way more um clean okay like this part i'm showing you also you can also use that if it's darker than the other part of your body also you can also use the the home remedy or to scrub the part where you know is darker than the rest of your body your hand your um in between your hand your finger every part of your hand where you know that is darker than the rest of your body just try to use this home mm. remedy to clear everything properly it's going to leave your hand very fresh very soft very glowing give you a very youthful hand leave your hand brighter leave your hand very very clean and glowing as well so this home remedy is the best that you can actually use to clear your hand your dark knuckle your dark hand if your dark hand your hand is darker than the rest of your body like the first picture i show you from the beginning this home remedy is very good to help you to get rid of it and there are the things that you actually have in your house okay they are very simple to get okay because i'm sure every won't have the ingredient to use in making this uh, video in their comfortable home so guys if you have any question relating to this video you should leave them in the comment section if you also enjoy watching the video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please consider hitting red the red button below that says subscribe and also please do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video now i'm going to be applying my hand moisturizer just apply this massage it all around my hand and also my palm like i was also saying always use hand hand moisturizer like hand cream during the night also before going to sleep after working all day cleaning the house washing your plates your hand is going to be so dry so all you just need is just to use an hand cream to massage your hand your palm to get a very soft and glowy hand the next day so guys if you enjoy watching do not forget to give me a thumbs up i'll be seeing you guys in my next video so this is how my hand looks like okay so if you have a very dark your hand is very dark and black try to use this home remedy to clean it out that's and leave your hand very soft very brighter very glowing without you having dark knuckle or having a very darker hand okay thank you guys for watching hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's video i'll be showing you how to go from this to this okay to get a very soft hand and also leave your hand looking fresh looking beautiful and this home remedy is also going to help you to get rid of dark knuckle black hand and if you have used a lot of product on your hand in getting rid of dark knuckle and it's not working for you then you should try this home remedy our first ingredient is going to be tomatoes and vaseline petroleum jelly these two ingredients combined together is very good to give you a very soft hand also helps you to get rid of hand aging and weakling and also give you a 
very beautiful looking soft hand and this omelette medi is also going to leave your hand looking younger looking youthful mm. looking beautiful helps to get rid of that knock helps to get rid of hand weakening if you have used a lot of products on your skin and your hand gets damaged like it got burnt like the first picture i show you on the starting of this video then this home remedy is very good for you to get rid of that dark hand also to get rid of dark knuckle and all that so now i'm going to be cutting my tomato into two tomatoes is rich in antioxidants vitamins and also mineral that helps to improve your skin elasticity and minimize sign of skin aging cut your tomato into two and after that you get a grater and then you grate your tomatoes all you just need to do is just to extract the juice from the tomato tomato seed contain anti-aging property and it also helps to reduce weak clean fine lines and it also produces elasticity and collagen to the skin by making the skin more softer and it also helps to cleanse the skin helps to tighten the skin and also helps to get rid of the skin cells helps to lighten and brighten your skin as well and add natural glow to your skin and tomato also have a natural bleaching property that helps to get rid of dark spots mark and also leave your hand and foot looking beautiful and also looking younger guys please if you have watched me from the beginning till now you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider hitting the red button below that says subscribe and also please not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here you're highly welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in and god bless you all after grating your tomato this is how it's going to be looking if you do not have a lot of time to grate your tomatoes you can as well make use of the blender you blend the tomato and then you extract the tomato paste from the tomato seed our next ingredient is going to be Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. You can make use of any Vaseline Petroleum Jelly of your choice, but I'm going to be making use of Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Blue Seed. Vaseline Petroleum Jelly is very good to lock in moisture and also help repair the dry damaged skin and leave your skin glowing and also leave your skin bright. Vaseline is also very good to reduce fine lines, weakening, dry hand and leave your hand moisturized, leave your hand hydrated and also helps to lock in moisture. I'll be adding half tablespoon of Vaseline Petroleum Jelly Blue Seed into the tomato paste. like the tomato juice then i'm going to make sure to combine this tomato paste and the vaseline petroleum blue seed together by mixing all the ingredients together now note that vaseline and the water like liquid stuff does not go very well okay all you just need to do is just to take out your time to mix this properly make sure that the ingredients combine together very well before making use of it this mixture can be used on your foot it can also be used on your hand helps to get rid of dark knuckle helps to get rid of dry hand also helps to get rid of damage hand like you use a lot of product on your hand and now you have a very black hand like your hand is darker than the rest of your body you can also make use of this mixture to brighten your hand to lighten your hand and also helps you to get rid of sign of aging and weakling on your hand after also. mixing our next ingredient is going to be baking soda baking soda is very good to helps to get rid of dry hand dry skin dry food exfoliate your skin exfoliate your hand by helping you to get rid of dead skin cells and impurities the bicarbonato in baking soda also helps to lighten and brighten your skin naturally without causing any harm to the skin i'm going to be also be adding half tablespoon of the baking soda into this mixture then i'll mix this properly when mixing also this is going to be a little bit um, difficult to combine together because of the baking soda you're going to be seeing it um, foaming up a little bit but don't worry you just need to mix everything together properly, just allow the ingredients to combine together properly before making use our of next it. ingredient is going to be lemon juice lemon helps to get rid of their skin cells because lemon contains vitamin c the vitamin c in lemon helps to boost collagen to the by skin. helping it to repair damaged skin cells as well lemon juice is also excellent for skin aging it also helps to reduce fine lines weak clean leave your skin looking younger leave your skin looking you helps mm. to repair dry and also cracky hand and cracky leg as well so i'm going to be cutting my lemon into two and i'll be making use of half lemon juice guys please if you have watched me from the beginning till now you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider hitting the red button below that says subscribe and also please do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video so you don't get to miss out on any of my upload so guys after adding the lemon juice into the uh, mixture i'm going to be mixing this properly you're going to be seeing the ingredients bubbling up okay because of the baking soda but don't worry after mixing for a while you can set it aside for five minutes to cool off let the bubble go down a little bit before 
applying the ingredients on your hand and our last ingredient is going to be sugar since we are doing this as a exfoliator okay you need sugar because sugar is very good to exfoliate their skin cells helps to get rid of impurity also helps to lock in moisture to the skin like if your skin is very very dry and cracky at times you need sugar to make your skin well moisturized and also hydrated and sugar also helps to get rid of dark spots mark and blemishes you can make use of any sugar of your choice you can make use of the brown sugar you can also make use of the white sugar just any sugar of your choice will be fine for this um, recipe now i'm going to be adding two spoon of sugar into the ingredients and i'm going to mix this properly guys please if you have any question relating to this video please do leave them in the comment section i'll get back to you now combine all the ingredients together and set it aside for five minutes and then allow the bubble to go down so that the ingredients can actually penetrate like I let the ingredients cool off a little bit because of the bubble up and also because of the baking soda we added into it before applying this into your hand you can as well use this mixture on your foot if you're suffering from foot knuckle and your foot is very dark like it's very darker than the rest of your of your body or your hand is also very very dark you're suffering from dark knuckle as well and your your foot is aging or your hand is aging okay and you're getting some weak clean hand weak clean or foot weak clean or fine lines on your hand as well you can use this mixture to get rid of it properly After setting it for aside for 5 minutes, this is how the ingredient turns out to be. So that's why I said you should turn, set it aside for 5 minutes, let it cool off, let the bubble cool off a little bit before making use of it. Now what I'm going to be using to apply this is going to be my cutting rule, okay? You can as well use uh, anything of your choice like an hand glove or anything just to massage this ingredient deep into your hand. I'm going to be cutting the cotivo into two because I'm going to be using this mixture to scrub the both of my hand. So this That's is how my hand actually look like. I don't have weakling anymore because I've been using a lot of home remedy on my hand and I'm showing you the ones that work for me perfectly well. Okay, so all you do is just to dip your cotivo into the ingredients. So this is how it's looking after five minutes. Okay, I just set it aside a bit. For five minutes and this is how it turns out to be there are no more bubbles anymore of the baking soda we add dip your cutivo into the ingredient properly use your hand to massage it let the ingredient penetrate into the cutivo before making use of it like i said you can also use like an hand glove your um shower hand glove to also scrub it but you should be so gentle on your hand okay so not to add more pain to your hand for me, I would advise you to use a cotivo for this process. Just dip your cotivo into it. Use it to massage all over your hand, your dark knuckle, the part where you notice that is darker than the rest of your body. Where you, are, if you're having an aging hand, use this mixture on your hand. It's going to help you a lot. If you're also your foot area, your leg is very, very dry, very cracky, and also aging as well, you can also use this ingredient. Like those two places I'm showing you, where there are the dark knuckle, use this um, mixture. On that particular place very very well scrub it very well to see a very good result you should use this mixture for two weeks or three weeks and also this um on the hand also close to your palm at times it's also very dark maybe due to cream or maybe due to hot water you use in washing your plate you should do this mixture also it's going to help you a lot in getting rid of it and this mixture can as well be used on your dark knees your dark elbow and also on your dark neck like your neck is also way more darker than the rest of your body you can as well use this mixture on that part as well to get rid of dark neck any place that you notice that is darker than the rest of your body this mixture is going to help you a lot a lot in helping you to get rid of those dark dark parts you have on your body and it's going to give you a very um, good complexion leave your skin very soft as well especially your hand also because me i use this mixture on my hand and it leaves my hand very beautiful very soft and also very presentable because at times when your hand is very squeezy like 
very squeezy very weak clean and also it has aging okay it's aging hand you are very shy to bring out your hand in public okay so for you not to be shy to bring out your hand in public you should try i have i think i think i have about two or three home remedy on my channel about getting how you can naturally make your hand very soft helps to clear that knuckle helps to clear and aging also helps to care hand weakling as well so i have about three to four video on my channel you should try one of them any one that work for you is fine because i cannot determine everybody's skin type okay because what work for me is what i actually show on my channel on how you can actually use them so maybe you can pick out of one of or two the one that work for you you can make with your feet just use this home remedy to clean all your hand the middle of your finger use it to clean where you have dark knuckle where you think is darker than the rest of your body make sure to use this ingredient to scrub every part of it 10 to 15 minutes okay this is how it's looking okay 10 to 15 minutes you're going to see a very good result after two weeks to three weeks of use do not use this ingredient like one day or two days and you think it's not working okay it's not going to do magic very fast because it's just an home remedy that takes a little bit time to work perfectly well on your hand or on your skin you can use this mixture on your foot you can use it on your hand you can use it up on your hair bow you can use it on your knee you can also use it on your dark neck if your neck is darker than the rest of your body it's very good like this because i'm still scrubbing it's also very good to use um this ingredient on that area to help you to brighten your hand helps you to get rid of hand weakling hand aging and also helps you to get rid of damaged hand like also if you use a lot of bleaching cream a lot of products on your body and you notice your hand is changing like your hand is not presentable is getting way more darker or maybe you're getting um dark knuckle your hand is looking so rough so dry try this mixture is very good and even if you do not also apply any hand cream it's also very good why because of the vaseline petroleum jelly we use in mixing these um ingredients together make sure to use these ingredients 5 to 10 minutes scrub your hand 5 to 10 minutes then you use just liquid warm water to rinse off your hand and then you are good to go okay you do not even need an hand um hand cream you can also make use of hand cream maybe during the night before to go to sleep it's also very good to make use of hand cream to also leave your hand looking younger and also helps you to, to get, get a very soft hand also hand cream is very very good for the hand and also for the palm to leave your palm very very soft and very very um smooth so after scrubbing with the cotivo and the ingredient i'm also going to be rubbing my hands together make sure i also use my palm to scrub all the the back of my hand my knuckle make sure to scrub everything very very well like i said guys if you have watched me from the beginning till now you haven't subscribed please consider hitting the red button below that says subscribe and also if you have watched me from the beginning till now and you enjoyed the video please also do give me a thumbs up and i really appreciate you guys so much make sure to rub the ingredients very very well on your hand on your palm every place that any place that you notice that is darker than the rest of your body make sure to scrub this ingredient on that place it's going to help you a lot in getting rid of dark knuckle helping you to get rid of fine lines sign of aging hand aging and weakening leaving your hand looking beautiful soft and also helping you to leave your hand looking youthful looking beautiful and also well presentable guys so this is how my hand turns out to be after scrubbing with the ingredients now i'm going to be washing my hand off so guys after washing this is how it look okay this ingredient to see a very good result like i said you can use it for two weeks to three weeks to see a very good result so after washing i'm going to be using my kitchen and paper just to dry off the water like i said if you do not have hand cream immediately it's fine the hand is also very very soft without the hand cream okay because of the vaseline petroleum jelly we use in mixing it so i'm not going to be applying any hand cream but during the night before to sleep like you've washed plates you've washed cloth or after taking your shower then you can apply your hand cream before to go to bed massage all the hand cream on your hand you can also use foot cream as well this is very good it will also leave my palm very very soft okay 
you can also apply a um, foot cream also foot also have foot um, cream to leave your foot very soft and very smooth so this is how my hand turns out to be i'm not going to be applying any hand cream okay so for guys for all the ingredients used in this video everything will be in the description box below so you can check them out and also if you have any question relating to the video you can as well leave them in the comment section i'll get back to so you. this is how you can actually make your own remedy at home that is going to brighten your hand helps you to get rid of hand weakling and sign of aging and also helps to soften and glow your hand as well but before to see a very good result like i said use this mixture for two to three weeks to see a very good result why because it's an home remedy it doesn't work like magic okay how to store this okay if you miss a lot of the ingredients if you miss a lot you can store it in your refrigerator for about one week or five days okay so how to store this this is the leftover the one i'm going to be storing for about a week okay because i'm going to be using this um two or three times in a week you just get an a jar something that has cover then you transfer everything into the jar and then you cover this you can store this about a week five days one week in your refrigerator and to use this you should use it two or three times in a week not for every day because of the baking soda we use in mixing the ingredients together so guys this is how my hand turns out to be thank you guys for watching if you enjoy watching this video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and also if you have any question please do please do leave them in the comment section i'll get back to you i love you guys remain blessed i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye bye Mwah. see you guys bye hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you one of the best remedy that i use in keeping my hands soft and also helping me to get rid of wrinkles helping me to get rid of dark knuckle and leave my hands soft and looking youthful so if you're suffering from wrinkles and also dark knuckle and also dry hand then this video is for you you should wash it from the beginning to the end this is my hand and it's very very dry and i use this method once in a week and it's very very helpful to me especially for if you have a very dry palm and the back of your hand has wrinkles dark knuckle and also is always always very very dry and crappy. so guys let's jump right into the video our first ingredient is going to be vaseline petroleum jelly blue sea but at this point you can use any vaseline of your choice like the one you have at home it's okay even if it's not the vaseline petroleum jelly blue sea so vaseline petroleum jelly is very good it's a very good moisturizer to keep your hand very well moisturized and also helps to get rid of weak clean dark knuckle and also leave your hand very very soft and smooth and this vaseline petroleum jelly is also very good to heal dry cracky foot as well so i'll be taking a spoon of my vaseline petroleum jelly i'll add it into a clean bowl then i'm going to mix this a little bit to turn into a very creamy form like this vaseline petroleum jelly you need to mix it a little bit to form into a creamy form before to add other ingredients to it and guys please if you have watched me from the beginning till now you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider hitting the red button below that says subscribe and also please do not forget to turn on your post notification bell so you guys will be notified whenever i upload a new video so you don't get to miss out on any of my upload if you're my returning subscriber mm, thank you so much for always tuning in if you're new here you're highly welcome to the game channel so this is it you can see how creamy it is after mixing for about two minutes after mixing only the vaseline petroleum jelly for two minutes and this is how it turns out in a very creamy form so before to add other ingredients to it you should mix this a little bit for like two minutes or one minute before adding other ingredients to our it. other ingredient is going to be baking soda baking soda is also very effective in helping to you soften your hard dry cracky hand baking soda also helps to treat finger nails fungal infection and helps to exfoliate the skin cells like the upper layer of your hand the very dry one is going to help you to exfoliate it and help you to get rid of impurity and leave your hand very very soft and very smooth and at the same time it's going to leave your hand looking youthful and very very soft so now i'm going to be taking a spoon of the baking soda i'll add it into the vaseline cream mixture and i'll mix this Properly. if you are the type who your hand is always always dry and very cracky like your palm you should try this mixture it's very good to help to soften your palm also and leave the back of your hand very very soft and very youthful okay and this mixture is very very effective you can use this for like about two times in a week or three times in a week but for me i do use this once in a week and it's also very effective 
um, in helping me to soften my palm and also the back of my hand, leaving it looking soft and beautiful without having um, hand wrinkle and also having dark knuckle. If you are the type who is using a lot of cream or a lot of um, hard um, bleaching cream, you should try this also to soften your palm because at times those cream is also going to help your palm to get um, harder like get um, very very strong okay so if you notice that your palm is very very strong also maybe due to the product you use on your skin or maybe you do a lot of hard work and your palm is very 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 um, hard like very strong you can use this uh, mixture to soften it you should use it three times in a week but not more than three times in a week okay so I added about um, two tablespoons of the baking soda into this Vaseline cream mixture and I'm mixing this guys if you have any question relating to this video please do leave them in the comment section and i will get back to you when making this mixture make sure that everything mix very well like the vaseline petroleum jelly and also the baking soda make sure to mix this and this well mixture also can be used on your leg okay like on your foot on the up of your leg if you if you're having some wrinkles you're having some dark patches and our other ingredient is going to be rice powder rice powder is also very beneficial to smoothen your hand to soften in your hand and also to add more moisture to your hand also because rice powder is rich in amino acid and also antioxidant and mineral which helps to slow down the sign of aging process i'll be adding half tablespoon of rice powder into the mixture then i'll mix this properly this mixture is very helpful in maintaining your skin elasticity and also helping you to get rid of sign of aging so this mixture can be used on your foot like on your leg your foot area your knuckle um, your foot knuckle your hand knuckle, your hand, your palm also. If you're experiencing um, dryness on your leg and it's also aging, it's also having some dark knuckle and also discoloration, okay? You can use this to repair it back. And the mixture is going to leave your leg or your hand very, very, very soft and also very smooth. Only one thing you need to do, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this mixture on your hand, okay? And after using it, what and what you need to apply also to make it way more softer without getting dry and also without getting cracky as well. So after mixing, this is how it is. You can use this mixture two or three times in a week or you can also use it once in a week okay if your hand is not too too cracky and too aging or also you do not have a lot of dark knuckle and your hand is not too, that too hard you can use this mixture once in a week but if your palm and your hand is very very dry and very cracky and at the same time is aging very fast you should use this three times in a week okay to get a softer hand and also leave your hand very youthful and, and very brighter okay so this mixture is going to brighten your hand it's also going to help you to get rid of dark knuckle also help you to leave your hand very very soft like your palm and also the back of your hand especially if you're the type who your um the back of your hand is very aging like it's very very dry and you're even ashamed to bring out your hand in public so try this mixture it's going to help you a lot a lot in helping you to soften your hand helping you to get rid of dark knuckle at the same time helping you to exfoliate your dead skin cells because at times the back of your um, hand is also very dry you need more moisture on your hand okay so after mixing guys this is how it is so i'm going to be taking a little out of it and i'll show you how i usually use this just apply this on my palm and then use my hand to take a little of it apply it all over my hand like this this is just like exfoliating the back of your hand okay just exfoliate it very 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 well in between your finger like the places you know that is very very dry and very very um aging also just use this to massage all over your hand the back of your hand your palm also in between your finger your dark knuckle areas like the place you notice that is changing like that you have this coloration use this is going to help you to exfoliate it help you to get rid of dead skin cells brighten your skin helping you to get rid of um this coloration also so just use this to scrub your hand like i said you can use this mixture two times in a week you can use it three times in a week or also once in a week okay do not use it more than three times to see a, a very good result you can use this about a month to see a very good result all you just need to do those places you have 
um, black black patches dark dark patches you should use this um, cream to just exfoliate those areas like exfoliate your dark knuckle the back of your hand your palm also if your palm is always always dry maybe due to a cream you're using or due to you you're doing a hard work okay and your palm is always dry you do not have a lot of time to add um, hand cream on your hand during the day so you should do this during the night just scrub this very very well on your hand on your palm every part of your knuckle your fingernails just use this to scrub every part of your hand then you cover this allow it to sit you can scrub this for like 10 minutes okay you can you should scrub it for like 10 minutes scrubbing all your hand your palm your knuckle your finger area in between your finger okay just scrub this where you can see that's why i decided to take out this time to show you how you can scrub it all those dark knuckle areas you have like just scrub them very very well your palm the back of your hand you can also use this if you're having a very dark elbow you can also use this to clear your dark elbow also scrub it very well and then you and use glove to cover it up to 20 minutes okay that means you should leave it for like 30 minutes you scrub for 10 minutes and cover for 20 minutes with your hand glue so it can actually eat up all those um scrub that you uh, scrub your hand okay so scrub all the parts dark dark parts you know you have on your hand your dark knuckle in between your fingers your palm the part you know that is darker than the rest of your hand especially the dark knuckle areas just scrub it very very well before to cover it up to 20 minutes okay so guys if you have any question relating to this video please do leave them in the comment section and also if you enjoy watching this video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and also all the ingredients used i'll be listing them in the description box below so you can check them out and also if you enjoy watching give me a thumbs up and any question leave them in the comment section and i'll get back to you so for the ingredients i use you have them in your kitchen there are the things you have in your kitchen okay your comfortable zone that you do not need to go out to look for them what i use is the rice powder and also the petroleum jelly and also baking soda there are the three things that you should use to exfoliate your hand to get a youthful hand and also leave your hand very soft and helps to get rid of cracky hand and also helps to get rid of weakly hand as well so after scrubbing i'm going to be getting my hand glove then i'll wear this where i'm going to be covering it so that everything can actually work perfectly well and also for 20 minutes i also need to you know press my phone or do one or two things around the house so that is why i'm going to be putting on the glove so i can actually keep myself a little bit busy before to wash this out so i'm going to be covering my hand for 20 minutes after 20 minutes i'll wash it out and i'll be back guys if you have any question relating to the video you can leave them in the comment section so just allow this to absorb into your hand very well okay do not just scrub and wash it out uh, immediately because you're not going to do anything immediately all you just need is to use your glove to cover it up to it let it heat up a little bit before to wash it out after 20 minutes so after 20 minutes now here i am i am back after 20 minutes you can see how soft it is so how to wash it out because of the petroleum jelly you need to use your hand uh, wash to wash it wash your hand okay do not use anyhow um kitchen um what you use you to wash your dishes to wash your hand all you just need is your hand wash okay use hand wash to wash it out after 20 minutes now i'm going to be using my kitchen towel just to dry off my hand so after washing you can use any of your hand moisturizer like your hand cream okay and also it's also very good to use hand cream every night if you're the busy type like during the day so during the night you should always try to use hand cream even on your foot area also if you're having a very cracky foot and also cracky hand you try to use an hand cream always to soften your palm especially so you can see how soft this is and this mixture is very very good to help your hand a lot a lot so you can use any hand cream of your choice to moisturize your hand and also your foot okay if you're the type of your foot is always always dry and every morning your palm is always very cracky and very dry try to use any hand cream of your choice it's very very good to soften your palm to soften your hand so i'm going to be using this my hand cream is made with um 
almond um, oil okay so i'm going to be this is my normal hand cream it's almost finished just take a little of it rub it on your hand and also on your foot i also do use it on my foot okay just to soften my foot because me i always have a very hard foot your hand your back of your hand to make it very soft and very um youthful okay because the dryness can also lead to a very um bad hand like leaving your hand very 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 um aging okay so apply your hand cream and voila you are good to go if you're the busy type use this mixture during the night before going to bed apply your hand um hand cream and then you go to bed if you're not the busy type you can also use it during the day okay so after applying my hand cream this is how it is thank you guys for watching if you enjoy watching the video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you have any question relating to the video also leave them in the comment section and also please do try to always use an hand cream to soften your palm and also to leave the back of your hand very very youthful and very soft okay? so this mixture can be used three times in a week to soften your hand to help you to get rid of dark knuckle and also help you to get rid of sign of weakling and also sign of aging also and leave your hand very very soft and also your palm very very soft also and help you with a very cracky palm and also on your foot area you can also use this mixture on your foot and also please always use your hand cream or your foot cream foot also have the cream thank you guys for watching i'll be seeing you guys in my next video remember bless and bye bye bye, -bye.